Good evening, good evening, everybody, and welcome back. And thanks for joining us here. We're uh, going to give you another high school hockey action here at the Marlboro Navin Arena, where the uh, Lumberton Blue Devils, who are in their dark blue, and the Marlboro Panthers, who are in their home white, will be facing off against each other coming up here in about three minutes. They are doing uh, warm-ups right now. Again, thanks for having us here. Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to another exciting hockey game here in Central Mass. You know, they're playing Marlboro High School, which comes into tonight's contest with a record of 1-4-1, one, and, one, and Lumister is 1-3-2. and two. Last time we met each other, we were on TV, live action at the Wall Civic Center a week ago with the uh, Christmas tournament, the uh, Lunenburg Christmas tournament, and the last game that we, we uh gave you people were the uh, live game against Fitchburg High School and Lumberton came on top 5-3 to three. that was their very first victory of the season and they are looking for win number 2 here this evening against the Marlboro Panthers like I said who's coming into this contest 1-4-1 one, and one. their one win came against Watertown after talking to the coaches earlier and Lumberton's one win was against Fitchburg in that tournament a week ago so I'm expecting a really Great game here against the Marble Panthers with both teams with one victory. So anything can happen here with both these teams here. Looking back at the uh, experience that, or the players that uh, Marble has had in the past as when I coached high school and when my sons played and everything else, Marble always came ready to, and prepared to play the game. And I do not take anything away from them. They are a good team, been around for a long, long time. So expect a, uh, a good, hard-fought battle here this evening at the Navin Arena in Marlboro, Massachusetts. We are just a few miles down the road from the, the uh, New England Sports Center, which is also located in Marlboro, which has uh, 10 rinks over there. And we are in the middle of nowhere here, down the street from them. And this is the Navin Arena, which is Marlboro is uh, lucky to have as their home rink because the high school is directly behind this rink. Take the next left after the rink and the high school is there. So they're lucky to have a rink so close to them. They can uh, walk to practice and uh, get ready so they have all the ice that they want, which is great for them. Unlike what Lemister has to do, they have to face off and uh, dangle with uh, other teams in their division because St. Bernard's practice is there. North Middlesex practice at the Civic Center. Lemister, Fitchburg, uh, they all practice in the Civic Center and Fitchburg State College are all at that one arena in Fitchburg. So they have a, the ice time is not as successful as Marlboro has here, which is right behind their school. So they are really lucky to have that. is getting ready to face off here and there's a couple of changes here this evening. I know the, uh, talked to the coach Casey earlier. He gave me the siding lineup, which is a little different. And there was one movement I believe he has made. He has put one person on defense. And a change of uh, number eight, Joe Russo, is going to be playing defense instead of forward this evening. And let's we'll see if that uh, helps out the, the the offense a little bit and gets a couple shots from the point. So I'm excited. Hope you people are excited. Again, thanks for joining us. My name is Ray Richard. My camera personnel, my camera genius extraordinaire Brad Bedard who has been following me for the last five years doing these games and I appreciate his uh, his expertise on this camera thing and I talked to a lot of people back home Brad and uh, everybody says that the games are coming out really well on TV you do a great job and I'm really happy about that in uh, the live version I'm not sure I haven't seen it and uh, but everybody says that it's it's, uh, it's coming out really good so all your viewers back home enjoy the games that we are bringing you from LTV Thanks to all the uh, people at the station who help us out put the uh, games on live TV when we are at the Civic Center. And tonight we are not live, but you are you will be able to see this game as it comes across your screen in a couple of days after they edit it and put everything together. It'll be on your TV uh, screen back home in a couple of days. So they are getting ready here, ladies and gentlemen, as you can uh, see our uh, camera situation is we are way down deep in the uh, Marlboro home zone, their defensive zone, and Lumister is 
way across the opposite end of the rink in their far blue and they are the visitors. So we have a different angle of the game here this evening. Hopefully that uh, Brad can uh, bring this game here as well as he does at the Civic Center because at the Civic Center we are directly in the middle of the rink and we get a good view from both ends of the rink. So now he's going to have to do a lot of zooming, zoom in, zoom out, zoom over there, zoom, zoom, zoom everywhere. So it's going to be exciting to watch that. They are st they're calling out the starting lineups here for Lemister. On Corey Tuminis, number 25, starting off. And we have number five, Zach Fowler in number 10. Looks like Kobe Doran, correct. No, 19, Brandon Melanson is going to be centering. 19 is Brandon Melanson. On defense, we have number three, Austin DeMario. And also number 27, I believe, which is Anthony Tossi. And in nets, playing net, playing goalie tonight will be Number number 31, I think it is. Brett Jeffries is the goaltender today. On offense for Marlboro, number 18, playing forward. Number eight at center. You know, from my vantage point here, looks like Marlboro is a uh, not a really big team. But they always come out with a lot of good skaters, so I expect a uh, really good, hard-fought game here to see between the Panthers and the Blue Devils. And number 12 is not a big person either. They're not a they're not a big team here this evening, not like they've had in the past. And number five also. So, ladies and gentlemen, please rise, stand for the playing of the national anthem. The number goalie is going to be number 40, who's going to be starting off. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was sung live in the penalty box area from a student from Marlboro High School. Sung live here. We don't usually get that, so happy to see that and happy to hear a good voice singing the national anthem here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for kickoff here with the 1-3-2 Blue Devils against the 1-4-1 Marlboro Panthers. So anything can give this evening. Both teams are looking for their second victory, I'm sure. And let's see what happens here and see what uh, Lemons can bring to the table. See if they can uh, come across with a victory this evening. Their second game in that tournament was against Lunenburg, and they Lunenburg beat them 62. So they're going to want to get off the uh, new year on a good start here. And hopefully they can uh, bring a victory back home for their second victory of the season. So ready for face-off here, ladies and gentlemen. We have Brandon Melanson at center taking the face-off here at center ice. And ladies and gentlemen, the game is underway. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully a good game here to see this evening. For all you hockey viewers back home who enjoy ice hockey at its best. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with the Blue Devils. Austin Damari back in his own zone. Off the tossy on the far side. Picked up by Tumas behind the net. Austin Demar stops. Looks, gives it to Austin. Is it the Tossi? Tossi cannot reach the pass back in the corner. Austin Demar going to the corner. Loose puck. It's going to be hard for me to see down in the deep in the uh, limits of zone. Here comes Tumas stick handling all the way down. He's going to get a backhand shot up over the net. Picked up by Marlboro on the near wall. Coming down. Skating with it. And he gets knocked off the puck by Tumas. Tumas was twice his size. He just knocked him, pushed him down, and he goes for a change. Marble fighting for the puck in the corner. Back to the point. Shot. Deflected off the high glass to back of the net. Behind. Fight along the far wall. Joe Russo on defense. We got Theo Reynolds at center. Nice little move there. Up over to, up over to Ross Howlett. Howlett. And Theo Reynolds and Kobe Doran is the line with Joe Russo and we'll try and find the other defenseman. Probably Hellenius I'm looking at. Face off directly right in front of me here. I am down deep in the Marlboro zone, as you can tell by our camera. 
down deep. He, Brad is on the goal line, actually on the goal line where the camera is. So the faceoffs are going to really re look really close when they're down in the, in the uh, Marlboro zone for sure. Puck behind the net. Loose puck going to the corner. Brandon Melanson there. Takes the, bumps the puck. Corey Tuman is there bumping the guy off the boards. Follow on the near side. Marlboro on the way out. Sidesteps. Brandon Melanson went for the check and he sidestepped and Brandon Melanson hit all boards, but he's ready to play. Two minutes, winding up behind his own net. Has the puck. Drops it behind for Tossy. Tossy coming out. Nice little pass over to Fowler. Cannot reach him. Back in the zone. Marlboro has connection. Brandon Melanson behind his own net. Controls the puck on the Tossy on the near wall. Back around and Tossy knocks it out of the wall all the way down deep. It looks like he's going to be icing against Lumberster with 12.50 to go here in the first period. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We're at the Marlboro Navin Arena in Marlboro, Massachusetts. You know, talking about Marlboro, Brad, way back in the day when Lumster used to play Fitch, I mean, Lumster used to play Marlboro. We had some great tilts back here, Brad. A lot of great games here. They were always a good team, well coached. And uh, I will talk about a certain player here later on as soon as we have a stoppage in play that played here at Marlboro High School which all you people are going to see very soon on your silver screen coming in February. Kept inside the zone, is picked up. Howlett gets knocked off the puck, tried to make a move. Uh, not Howlett, uh, Colby Doran gets knocked off the puck, around the net. Here comes Howlett on the near side. Kept in by Matt Kendall. Matt Kendall forcing the puck behind the net. <laughs> there was a check behind the net, and he just, the Barbro play was two feet shorter, and he just avoided that check. Puck behind the net. There's a shot by Howlett. Couldn't get through. Right in front of us here. Couldn't get through. Theo Reynolds tried to hit Howlett with a pass. He connected and Howlett shot the puck. It was blocked by about three, four plays inside the in front of the net. Couldn't not get it through. Picked up by Lemons' defenseman in his own zone. Trying to get it out. Kept in by Marlboro. Forcing Joe Russo to go back and get it. Joe Russo on the puck first. Has it. Joe Russo coming out. Stick handling. Got out of the zone. Over the blue. Makes a nice little pass to the wing side. Picked out by... As, as Malik, Malik number 20, is Mal Malik Munoz Perez. He take that good shot. They have Malik on, on there with Alex Hellenius and Jack Kendall, number 12. That's your line as we as they're on the ice right now. Back in behind us, Hellenius trying to get rid of it. Shot by Marlboro, could not get through. Another shot back wide behind the net. Picked up by Austin DeMario and fired in his own zone. And here comes Lumberstone on the, on the break. Pass. Up over to Malik. Malik on the far side. He dumps it back inside over to Jack Kendall. Back behind the net. Kendall right here in front of us. And Alex Hellenius, number 18. That's our line. Austin Demari with the puck in his own end. Has the puck. Makes a little pass. Coming out. Lumpster coming out. Going down deep. Gets knocked off the puck. Brandon Melanson gets knocked off. Puck. Here comes Marlboro on the attack again, trying to make a pass through center. Skating well, going over the red blue line, going down, shot. Went wider than that over the left post. Coming out. Fowler tries to make a pass to Brandon Melanson, picked up by Tuminus on the far side. Tuminus loses the control. Melanson there, kept it in, shot. With glove save out of goal 10, right in front of us here with 10 13 left to go in the first period. No score, and I'm not going to be able to keep tabs on the shots on net because they do not keep the shots on net here in Marlboro. Just the score and the period and the time. So that's all I'm going to be able to give you this evening. So the shots on net are not going to be uh, vocal this evening. Theo trying to make a couple moves inside the zone. Cannot. Picked up by Doran. Hit off the puck by Theo. Picked up by Doran. Cut across over the top of circle. Stick handles in the sides. Get two guys on the top of the. There's a shot by. Oh, loose puck right in the crease. And and Howler had it. Had a chance. He could not put it away. It was sitting right there in the crease. We had Howler. We have Colby and we have Theo on the ice going down deep. Is Joe Russo. Joe Russo with the puck over to Howler. Howler has it. The red line. He dumps it back inside the zone, forcing Doran to go get it. Doran on the puck for us. Doran has it. Gets nudged in the puck. He's directly right in front of me. Doran. Picked up by Howlett. Howlett can't get the trigger. He can't pull that trigger. And here was Marlboro on the attack. Over the red line. Over the line. And 
Joe Russo fell down, but as he fell down, he stuck out the stick and stopped the whole, the uh, half breakaway from Marlboro had. It was a good play by Joe Russo. The only thing he could do was to reach out and try to get that puck, and he did, and he, st and he stopped their uh, forward progress. And he was not able to get uh, into the limits of the zone. Nice play by Joe Russo. Here comes Marlboro on the attack, coming out over the blue line. Stick in the nice little pass to the far side. Shot, glove save by Jeffries, and he holds on for a faceoff with 8.57 left to go in the first period. No score here at the uh, Navin Arena in Worcester, Massachusetts. You know, I'm going to give you a heads up on a certain player that played here a little while ago who I had the pleasure of coaching and, and coaching against. And I'm going to give you his name here real soon as soon as we have a break. It's in play. There's a shot, and there's going to be a penalty on Lemister down in the corner. Should be boarding down in the corner or high sticking. And Marlboro player is down. He got hit pretty good and going to the box, which is on the uh, on the near side here in front of me. It's going to be Austin DeMario going to the box for a uh, cross check. No, yes, yeah, so Austin DeMario, number three, going to the box for a cross check in the, into the corner. And the guy's okay. He's skating over on his own to the rink, to his own bench. He'll be fine. So Lumster is have to be on their special teams right now. They are killing a penalty at 8.45 of the first period. Marlboro goes on the attack first on a power play. So let's see what they have in store for Lumster on a... On a See if Lemster can kill the penalty here and come up with uh, no goals against on this power play from Marlboro. Again, Marlboro is 1 4 and 1. Lemster is 1 3 and 2. So both of them are looking for their second win here on home ice for Marlboro. And let's see what happens. Marlboro with the power play back across, top of the circle. Back down deep in the corner, looking for a shot. And he shot, tried to go high. Jeffries was there, over the net. Back in the corner, Marble controls, coming out of the zone. Back to the point. Number five has it on the opposite side. Top of the circle, looking. Little wrist shot to the nice net. Nice little poke check by, by Lumbus, the defenseman in the corner. I can't read the numbers from here. There's a whistle for stoppage in play. I think the net has come off. It's moorings down there. And there's a change up on the four people going out. We have Russo on defense, Theo Reynolds at middle with Jack Kendall, killing a penalty, and Tossi. That's where we have four players down deep in the limits of the zone. Face off to Jeffrey's left, trying to get out of the zone, and they do on the near side. And they just rip it down deep inside the Marlboro zone. And on the chase is Marlboro. They're setting up their power play here. They got 58 seconds left to go in their power play. First power play of the game for Marlboro. They control the puck. You know, looking at these Marlboro players, these three people right in front of me here, they're not really, like, tall, but they can stick handle well and skate well. And they're, it's amazing that they're... Uh, Fasty players, there's a, no, there's, there's, it wasn't a trip, he just fell down, slipped down off that, that blue line, the blue line is kind of slippery, Marble play going around the net, back to the point, looking shot, quick shot, deflected, hop by, into the netting above the rink. All around this rink, everybody, If uh, you probably will not notice on the uh, camera, but all the way around the whole arena, rink is, is, is a netting that encircles the whole rink. Top to bottom, so no, no, uh, no fans will get hit by the puck in this arena. That is for sure. Going down deep, going hard. Russo there with him, takes the body down. Loose puck in the corner. Marble still on the attack for 10 seconds. Back to the point. Got to take a look. Back to the corner, top of the circle. Look, going to the front porch. The guy standing right there in the front porch. He's got control of the point. The penalty is over. Lemons are at full strength. Demario out of the box. Kobe Dorn knocks it out of the off the boards and just knock it back down deep. And Lemister on the attack. They have five on five right here. Joey Russo on the left side, coming down deep. Over the blue line, going down deep. He shot, nice real wrist shot. Pass saved by the goaltender. Back in the corner. Marlboro still going down deep. Going down, looking for a shot. 
Try Jeffries makes the nice save. Rebound, not to stay. And they, they scored on the rebound. They did score on the rebound way down deep. And Marlboro takes that quick 1-0 lead here in the first period at 6.20 after the power play has ended. But they come back and they score a even strength goal at 6.20 of the first period. And they put, he puts Marlboro on top, one to nothing. And that's a big goal for them. It was a shot, Jeffries made the save, and it was a rebound. And the rebound had a, came right back out to him. He took a shot and it went into the net. So Lumister is looking at a one nothing deficit right now with 6.20 left to go in the first period. And no shots on net here this evening. I cannot give you that. Matt Kendall behind his own net. Back over to Tossie. Cannot reach. Coming out. Back to the point. Marble keeps it back down deep inside the zone. Forcing Matt Kendall to go get it in the corner. Down deep. Matt Kendall takes the body. Coming out of the, coming out of the end. Lumbus is having a hard time controlling the puck and making getting out of their zone here. Marble was forechecking. Not uh, crazy, but they're just forechecking, not letting Lumbus to come out. Here's a... Kobe Doan going down deep, stops, looks, cannot go. You know, they're not giving Lemister any, they're, they're smaller than Lemister, but they're skating with him. And here comes a shot, and there's a save by Jeffries. Right in the, directly in the bullseye of the gut, and he makes that stop with 5.39 left to go in the uh, first period. Like I said, Marlboro was not a, a big team here this evening, but they are skating, and every time Lemister has the puck, they are putting a body on him and just making him stop. They know they're uh, being, the uh, the height and the weight is definitely on Lemister's side, but they're just skating with Lemister and putting a body on the person that has the puck, and they're having a hard time getting out of the zone here. As you can tell right now what we're doing here, they cannot get out of the zone. Marlboro is just skating around them, skating for them, and forcing him back down deep in the corner like you see right now, back to the point. Another shot by Marlboro in the corner, and here comes Lemister on the attack, going down deep. Make a pass to the corner in the middle of the net to nobody. We have Jack Kendall, Malik. Jack Kendall, Malik. And Alex Hellenius is your forward line. Coming out, there's a trip. It's gonna be a power play for Lemons to coming up right now. He tripped Hellenius coming over the red line. So Marlboro is going into the sin bin and Lemons is gonna go on their first power play of the game at 4.52. At 4.52 of the first period, Lemister has their first power play of the game. So see what their special teams can do. See if they can tie this game up. On the faceoff, Brandon Melanson back to the point. Joe Russo on the far side, top of the circle, looking for a shot. Back to the point, Matt Kendall on the near side of Brandon Melanson. Brandon Melanson has it. Back to the point, Matt Kendall with it. Matt Kendall over to Joe Russo. Joe Russo has it, looking for the, somebody's looking to tee it up. Shot by Brandon Melanson, not afraid to shoot the puck. There's a loose puck in the corner. Fowler picks it up. Fowler over to Brandon Melanson. Melanson has it. Kendall. Melanson. Fires. Shot. Pass saved by the goaltender. He was screening. He still made that save. He had the pads down and made a nice save along the ice. There's a low shot by Brandon Melanson. Hopefully somebody could have tipped that in. He made the pass save because his pads were there and he made a great save. Back on the point. Here comes Fowler. Crisscrossing over the blue line. Having trouble finding that puck in the skates. Man to Melanson. Melanson back to the point. Little Russo, Russo over to Fowler. Fowler has it. Back to Russo. Russo looking. Back to Fowler. Fowler on top of the circle. Back to Russo. Tic tac toe. Shoot the puck. There it is. Right on the goal. Makes the save. 3.54 left to go in the period. 108 left to go in the power play here. Lemonster had a lot of tic tac toe passes inside the defensive zone, but they are not shooting the puck. They're expecting their defenseman to take the shot from there. Somebody got to get in front of that goaltender and screen the goaltender so he doesn't get a chance to take a, a shot from the point like that and be able to see it completely. So forwards get in front of the goaltender, go right on the front porch and just wait there and, and block his vision so he cannot see the puck when they take a shot. Marlboro effectively killing this. Whoa, a wild shot by... The, the, the Marlboro defenseman, I can saw, see that puck flying on this side here, and it doesn't look like Jeffries was expecting that shot. And here comes Lemster on the attack. Over, Theo Reynolds stops, pops, looks. Back in the corner. Picked up by Howlett. Howlett, back in the corner to Doran. Doran, back to the point. Back to DeMario. DeMario at the point, looking, shot, deflected. This Howlett right there with the puck on the near side. Back over to the point, Tossi, over to DeMario. DeMario with it, looking, looking. Still looking, has control.
still looking. Has control. Pass over to Doran on the far side. Far side. He has it. Looks. Looks. Stop. Pops in the corner. Theo Reynolds in the corner. Theo. Right across. It's a Howlett shot. Goal! Nice pass by Theo Reynolds from the corner. He saw Howlett sitting on the front porch with a cup of coffee. And he just put it on the tape to tape. And Howlett just puts it in there on their power play at 252. Howlett scores from from uh, Tamaria and Reynolds. I can see that. I can see him really close from where I am. So Tamaria and Reynolds gets the assist on that goal at 2:52, a power play goal, and they tie things up here, ladies and gentlemen, at 2:52 in the first period. And Lumps is coming back for more. Two minutes. Side steps a check back in the corner, back behind the net. Marlboro on the check on the near side, puts it up. Kept it in by Fowler. Fowler, this is a shot right in fight. Fowler trying to get a hole. Here comes Marble on the attack. Two on two. Going down deep. Over to red. Over to blue. Going down wide. Shot. It hit the pipe behind. It's a goal. He took a off top of the circle shot from the right side. And I think he just misjudged it. I heard the clink from over here. He rang the doorbell. And the puck fell behind him. And he puts Marble back on top at 227 of the first period. So they take that two to one lead right away. As soon as Lumsden gets their power play goal, Marlboro comes right back down, takes a shot from the top of the right circle, my right, and it hit the crossbar or the post or something, but he rang the bell and it went in. It fell in right over him. And here comes Steele with a shot back in the corner. He gets dumped as he takes that shot. Holler back to the point. Joey Russo keeps the puck in the corner. Howlett has it. Howlett makes a move. Side step. Theo Reynolds trying to make a move right across. There's a shot. There's Matt Kendall. Go! Matt Kendall snuck in from the point and he just ripped it in the corner. There's Theo Reynolds again at 2 3. This is a uh, go down and score, go down and score, go down and score, and come down and score. That's what they're doing right now at 2 3. Kendall pops in from the point and he just pops in the open net. Nice little play by, by uh, Theo Reynolds. Who gets the assist on that? I'm not sure who got the, the second assist, but that's at 203 of the first period here. They knock things up here two apiece. With less than two minutes left to go in the first period here. Lemster is on the attack again. It should be offside. No offside. Shot. Take that shot. Take that shot. Two minutes has the puck. He's wheeling and dealing and stick handling and doing everything. He's got to take that shot when he gets a chance. He's got the, this come Mob right back down deep again, and they're trying to get the equalizer or, or the go-ahead goal here before they go into the first intermission. And anything can happen here in this game here. Four goals have been scored so far, and who knows what's going to happen the rest of the game. Both teams are looking for their second victory of the season, and they're both playing hard and see what's going to happen here. Good action at both ends. Good goaltending, but good open net, open position shots that Lummis has been getting, and they're taking advantage of that. This past goal here... Matt Kendall was at the point and he just crept in, crept into the top of the circle and Theo Reynolds was behind the net and he saw him coming in he just made, laid that puck right across to Matt Kendall and he just one-timed it, didn't even hesitate and put it behind the goaltender to knock things up here at two apiece late in the first period. Joe Russo behind his own net with the puck coming out. Nice little center pass to Theo Reynolds. Theo coming down deep, touched in the middle. He's going to go all the way. Stopped by the Mark Marble Jack Matt Kendall pops in again. Matt Kendall wants more on the attack. Marble's got a two on three. Nice little move on Joe Russo. Backhand. Jeffries is there. Stops it. Makes a save with 47.2 seconds left to go in the first period. Marble's looking for more. You just never know. These guys are they're so small you can't even see them. They just dish right around and they just keep on skating. So they just get right down there and they get another another opportunity to get a goal here with 45 seconds left to go in here. In the first period, pass from Russo to Hollick did not make it back in the zone. Russo with it over Matt Kennel. Matt Kennel trying to hit Doran. Doran going in, he's offside. Nice little play by Russo to Kendall to Doran, but Doran was offside at the far blue line, so the faceoff is going to be down deep in the Lumister end with 33 and a half ticks to go here in the first period. Hope you're enjoying this. 2-2 ball game. If you're just joining us, Lumberser in their dark blue, Marlboro in their home white and orange letters and numbers. 
Back around the net. Kobe there. Back in the corner. Back down deep. Marlboro throws the puck behind the net. On, a, on it is Howlett. Howlett goes back down the corner. Loose puck in the corner. Nice little check. Here they come. Just in all the way out. Coming out. Being forechecked by Kobe on the near side. I always call Doran by his first name or I call him by his last name. It's Kobe Doran. I just say Kobe or Doran. Same thing with Theo and, and Reynolds. I call him Theo. Sometimes I call him Reynolds. It all depends what's going on. There's the... Uh, Siren to end the uh, first period of play, ladies and gentlemen. Things are all even here at the Marlboro Navin Arena. Two to two, the Marlboro Panthers and the Lumberster Blue Devils. Two to two going into the into the second period here. We're going to have second period actually coming right up here. I'm just going to give you a, an update of what just happened that first period. Uh, Marlboro struck first at 6:20 to put Lum to put Marlboro on top one nothing. Came back, Lumpster came back and tied it up on a power play goal by Howlett. And then uh, Lumpster got the go ahead goal from, I mean, Marlboro went ahead at, two, at 227, put Marlboro ahead 2 to 1. Immediately following their goal, Matt Kendall comes down, sneaks in from the point, and he drills a shot into the back of the net to tie things up at 2 to 2. And that's how we stand here at the end of the first period of play. So ladies and gentlemen, the Zamboni is going to do the ice here. We're going to pause for station identification. We are LTV, your host Ray Richard, camera guy, cameraman, camera guru, Brad Badai. We're going to be here ready for the second period action, so don't go away. Welcome back, everybody, and welcome back to the Navin Arena here in Marlboro, Massachusetts, as we are entering the second period here between Lumberster and Marlboro. And as I and the score after one, ladies and gentlemen, is two to two, and I will give you an update on the scores of the first period. But after, I just want to give you uh, all you people at home about a uh, certain person that skated here back back in the day, and he uh, he skated here. I had, actually had the uh, the privilege of coaching him when he was just a teenager, 13, 14, and 15 years old, and now he is, uh, he went on to play his college high school, uh, college hockey at uh, UNH, and from that point on, he when he graduated in, not sure the year that he graduated from UNH, then he went on after the NCAA tournament was over, they were in it, and after they were over, he got signed by Ottawa Senators, and then from that point on, he went and played, he's playing in Europe, and as we speak, ladies and gentlemen, he is playing at the, uh, in the AHL with the Milwaukee Admirals. He's a good friend of mine. I know his, him. I know his father. I know his brother very well. But ladies and gentlemen, you'll notice his name up on that, uh, on that Marlboro High School 100-point club. His name is Bobby Butler. After four years of high school hockey, he had 284 points. He's got 100 more than everybody up there. And ladies and gentlemen, just to mention that you are going to see uh, that person on your... TV screen come February because he was elected. He was nominated to be on the uh, U.S. Olympic hockey team come February. He will be playing for your Team USA, a player from Marlboro, Massachusetts, on the U.S. Olympic hockey team come February. So, ladies and gentlemen, proud to know him, proud to have been around him and coached him, and he's going to be skating in front of all you viewers here come February for the U.S. Olympic hockey team in South Korea. Kudos to him. I'm so proud of him. I'm glad he's doing a great job out there. So, Bobby Butler, good luck to you. And we'll be all watching, we'll be all watching you in February for the U.S. Olympics. So, back to the action here, ladies and gentlemen. Marlboro takes a shot. Just went off the, the stick of Jeffries inside of his own end over here. And Jeffries had to make a good save here because that was going top shelf. So Marlboro's on the attack after the, after the first period. We had a 2-2 ball game. Now we're in the second period here. And let's see what's gonna, who's going to break the ice first here. Howard goes down deep and makes a stop. The goaltender makes a stop. 
first period scoring was uh, Marble came on top at 6.20 in the first period. And directly after that, a couple minutes after that, Howlett scored on a power play goal to make it one to one. Marble went back on top at 2.27 in the first period. And then Lemerson came right back at 24 seconds later. Steve, uh, Matt Kennel from the point walked in and tied things up at 2-2. Two to two, And that's where we stand here in the second period here with 14 minutes left to go here. So both teams are looking for the second victory here this evening. And let's see what happens here and who can come away with the win. Right now both teams are playing well. There's a cross pass over to Joey Russo. He tried the one time. He just fanned on it. And we'll see what happens here if Marble can uh, deliver some more opportunities inside the Ronet. Now we are, if you look at our camera, everybody, we are actually ice level. We've never been ice level to do a game here all season long. And this is very weird. I'm not sure what it looks like on your TV screen. I'm not sure if uh, uh, we get to see the action when it's down deep in the, op the opposite end because we are actually along the goal line at one end of the rink. And when the action's at the far end of the rink, I'm not sure if you people out there can really see what's going on, but I trust my man Brad's going to be able to bring you close up of the action that's happening inside the uh, Marlboro end right now. So back in the corner, shot. Goaltender Marlboro makes the save and ties up for faceoff with 12.59 left to go in the second. Coach Casey's been alternating goaltenders here. I've seen uh, Jeffries a couple times. I've seen Isabel a couple times. So he's just playing these goaltenders off and on, so which is great. Both they have getting a chance to get their feet wet. So Jeffries is in your net, is your goaltender this evening. And the score right now is 2-2. Two to two, And he's doing a great job here. So Lemister has the opportunity here to uh, get victory number two here on the road and see how they can do it. Brad, I mean, uh, Brandon Melanson with the faceoff to DeMario back in the corner, down deep. The sh Marlboro has control. DeMario keeps it in, takes a bump off the puck, back behind the net. Marlboro's trying to get out of the zone. Kept in. Oh, loose puck. Come all the way down. Tossi could not catch that with those big feet of his. He just went around them. And there's a loose puck. Brandon Melanson just whiffed on that puck behind the net and just left it there. All the way to the side. On this side here, Tossi with the puck. Tossi up over the two. Over to Fowler to Brandon Melanson. And looks like Tuminus was offside on the left wing. 12-24 left to go in the second period. You know, Brad, it's getting kind of cold in here. What do you think? It's getting kind of cold in here. I'm trying to stand up in the stands. I'm actually sitting down in the stands up here this evening and, and delivering this game sitting down, which I can see most of the game from my angle. And the camera has a better angle than I have because he's ice level. And see how come this game comes out. Coming out of the zone, Marlboro on the attack, going to a blue line, trying to go around Matt Kendall. Matt Kendall there, drops the stick down. Matt Kendall hits the body behind the net, ties him up, loose puck. And here it comes, and there's going to be a check by, and there's going to be a penalty going to number 22 is going to be Eric Kalinius. He's going in for boarding because he was just so much bigger than that guy. That's why, because it made some noise. You know, that's one of the things here in high school hockey is that if there's a big noise in the corner like that, if it's a one big guy, one small guy, referees are always going to call that penalty no matter what. There's noise. So if you were a small guy, you go in the corner, if somebody hits you, just smack your stick against the glass <laughs> and fall down, and you might get yourself, you might get your team, team a power play. That's what's seen on that play right there. He went Hellenius just hit him hard, and his stick hit the, hit the glass, made some noise, and the referee was standing right there, and he made the call, made the play. So now Marvel's on their second power play of the game at 11.52 of the second period. The shot deflected in front, loose in the skate, right in front of us here. Back down deep. Howlett trying to get rid of it on the backhand, cannot. Back in the point, back on the other side. Shot right down deep, and Jeffries makes the save with the pad. Marvel right in front of us here, looking right behind the net. Right back to 11. 11 going to shot. Glove save. Loose puck. It's in the front porch. Can't pick it up. And Jeffries holds on and ties up for a faceoff. With Tossy all over that player. Jeffries did well to cover and smother up that rebound. So no extra chances here. Right in front of us. Directly in front of us. We have Theo Reynolds taking the faceoff. He's got Tossy behind him. He's got Howler on the left side. And he's got Joe Russo on the defense. On the near side. Theo loses it, back to the point. 
Marble in, inside deep, top of circle, going in, went top shelf, and Jeffries went down, and he went top shelf, tried to go over his, his cage, and went up over the net, all the way down to the far end, and Marble on the on the attack again with 1.16 left to go on their power play here early in the second period. Here comes Marble over the blue line, stops, looks, has a puck, top of the circle, stop to set up their power play right now. There's a shot right across the crease, all alone, right there in front. Shot by 16, went to the side of the, hit the side of the apron of the net, back behind the net. Tossy has it, he tries to get out of, out of the zone, he does. Theo chasing all the way down deep. Goten has to come out, make the save, he makes the pass on the left side, picked up by Joey Russo. Joey Russo takes a hit at center rice, back down deep. Back behind the net. Stops, looks. Marlboro on the attack. 38 seconds left to power play here. Kept it down deep. Russo with it. Russo stops, wheels and deals. Loses the puck. Here comes Marlboro on the attack. 25 to go on their power play. Cut through the middle. Where there's a lot of traffic. Picked up by Joe Russo. Joe Russo off the glass. And he just knocks it out. Cannot get it out of the zone. Back to the point. Shot. Deflected inside. Fowler all over that puck. Chased him. Running. Going, going, going. Hard. He gets nudged off the puck. He gets beat to the puck, but good attempt. Ten seconds left on the power play here for Marlboro. There's a couple of good opportunities, but that's about it. But Jeffries is all over that, and the penalty has expired. And Hellenius is out of the box. Fowler knocks it back in on the backhand, back down deep, and forcing Marlboro to retreat to go back and get the puck. 9.44 left to go in the second. Coming out of the zone. Side steps it forward. Come through the middle. That's the move. We went through three guys already. Take the body when the defenseman's coming out of the zone. Forwards, take the body, not the puck. Matt Kendall over to Matt Kendall looking. Andrew Juski on defense with Matt Kendall. Loose puck. Matt Kendall picks it up. It'll be offside Marlboro with 9.19 left to go. We're all knotted here at two apiece. All the scoring in the first period. All four goals have been quiet here in the second period. And they started off the, uh, Marlboro had an opportunity, had a power play here in the, in the second period. And to no avail, no scoring has been done. I cannot give you the shots on net here this evening. Tossy with a shot. Didn't reach the net, back in the corner. Little Mayette in the corner, number 27, down deep. Is, no, is, uh, Number, number 17, Jeremy Maya is out there. Good little fine little skater out there. He's on the line and he's being changed out. Now we got two minutes coming out with Melanson. Two minutes, Melanson and Fowler. Melanson with the draw. You got Demario on the point with Tossie. Loose puck right past Demario back in the corner. On it hard, icing against Marlboro. Faceoff would be back down deep inside their end with 8.52 left to go in the second period. You know, Lemons had a lot of great games against Marlboro here in this arena. I can remember back in the day where when Bobby Butler was playing, all those other guys that's on that list up there were playing here. They had some great games here. This place used to be packed full of people here to watch Lemons against Marlboro because Lemons always had a great team also, so it was really good competition back in the day. And hopefully that comes back here really, really soon because Lemonster Marble was really in an anticipated match on the schedule that they had every year. You could not wait to play against Marble because you know they were going to bring their best. And again tonight, a nice shot right back behind the net. Back to the point. There's a wrist shot. Oh, tip high. Back on the far point. Top of the circle. Makes the move. Cannot get it. Here comes Fowler. Fowler going down the left side. Cut across to the middle. He decides to take a shot. Back behind the net, Brandon Melanson picks it up. In the corner, here comes Marlboro on the attack. Eight minutes left to go in the second. Nice skating job by this forward for the Marlboro. Going down deep, cutting across, nice shot right to the net. Number five is skating, using those legs, just keeps on going. He just did a whole 360 in the limits of the zone here from one end to the other. There goes Kobe Doran going down deep. Going down deep, has a peck. Right over the, shot right in the middle. Deflected up over the net, could not reach that in time. Brandon Melanson tried to back in and went up over the net. Could not get a hold of it. Here comes Marlboro on the attack, coming out of, the, out of their own zone, over the blue line, going down deep. Lost the puck, picked up by two minutes. Nice save by, by Jeffries right in front of me here. Going down, there's a stolen puck by Kobe Doran right at center ice. 
And Marble control back in their own zone. Seven and a half to go here in the second. Score is tied two to two if you're just joining us. You know, back in the day when uh, Marble used to play Lemister, I was saying that the place was packed. Either it, was, it was packed here and it was packed in Fishburg all the time. There were two great schools. A lot of good competition, a lot of great hockey players that came out of this area, Central Mass area. A lot of good hockey players that come out of this area, and now we're going to have one that's going to play in the Olympics in February. That's a great treat for all of us here to keep your eyes tuned to that uh, Olympic hockey because this is the very first year, and this is the first year in a long time where there are no pros on the no NHL pros playing in the uh, Olympics. It's been uh, they do not want to stop the NHL games for the Olympics, so they decided to go. There's a few college players, a few uh, AHL players that will be playing, but no NHL players are on the roster for the United States Olympic hockey team. So it gives all these other players a chance to get in there, which is great, and we'll be able to see one of the Central Mass finest playing this coming February. Stay tuned for that. There's a shot up over the net of Jeffries. Back in, sorry, right in front of us here. Picked up by Joey Russo on the near wall. Trying to control, has control. Dipty Duel, he gets the pass. Over to Matt Kendall, Matt Kendall going. Matt Kendall tried to make a pass through the middle, cannot do it. And here comes Marlboro on the attack again. Right through the middle. He's on side, he's gonna take a shot. Up over the left hand glove of Jeffries. Back in the corner, Marlboro can control. Still has it, back to the point. You know, they play really well, Marlboro here. Yeah, they're making passes back to the point. They're not afraid to do that. They're using their, like, their, their, there's a nice little outlet pass. Tried to get Jack Kendall going through the middle. Nice little pass by Howlett over to Jack Kendall. He could not control it. He was in all alone. Here's a two-on-one break for Marlboro. Going down deep. Just get Damari to beat. Back to the pass. Nice little back check it. And there's going to be a penalty on Malik for hooking as soon as Lemison touches the puck. But Malik came all the way back down deep. Made a nice play. He actually hooked the guy to prevent him from getting a clean shot at the goaltender and prevented the goal right then and there. Nice play by Malik, but he gets called for it. He was not sneaky enough to get away from it. So he's going to go in the sin bin here for another two minutes. And Marble's going on attack at 5.32 of the second period. They go on another power play here in the second period. So that's their second power play of the period. And hopefully they can kill it off. We got... Fowler out there. We got DeMario out there. And we got Jack Kendall out there killing a penalty. On defense, we got Andrew Juski, number 29's out there. Alex Andrew Juski on defense, killing a penalty here. Back down, here comes Marlboro on the opposite, on the attack, to the top of circle, right back to the point. Has it, back down deep, right in front of us here. Top of circle, right across the crease. These guys got a lot of time to shoot, and Jeffries is there, and he hangs on for the puck. No, he lost it, but the net is off. It's Moorings here, and the, and the referee's not going to call the whistle. I can see the post is not on the uh, line, and he's not going to call it, and he's going to go and fix it. What? Oh, camera, the, the net is not directly where it's supposed to be right now, and the referee's not going to go and take a look. That would have been a, that puck would have went in the net. It would not have been a goal. But the referee didn't see it. I can see it from my vantage point. Back down deep. Pow, shot. Did not reach. 54 seconds left on the power play here for Marlboro. Back behind the net. DeMario fighting for the puck. Behind. Loose puck. Coming out. Marlboro on the attack. Shot. Back behind the net. Stop. Going around. Top of the circle. Looking. Back to the point. Point man has it. Cross point shot, number five, takes a shot with the K right in the grill. Hit the goaltender right away, hit Jeffries right in the grill. You can hear that from where I am. Back to the point again. Back on the opposite side, picked up, looked up. Top of the circle, looking, looking. He's got 19 seconds, a shot went right by the front porch, nobody's there, able to put it in. Shot, there's Jeffries, hole his ground. There's a backhand, and Jeffries there, loose puck. Jeffries made the initial stop. He lost the puck for a second, and there's up behind the net. Going back behind the net. Marble has it. Penalty has expired. They're at full, and now there's going to be another penalty on Lemister. There's a shot on the near side, right through the front porch. Malik is out of the net, and the Lemister's going back in the box. I can see the referee's hands up. 
for another penalty. I'm not sure. Demario's going for a, into the box for a second time this evening. And he is not a happy camper right now, I'll tell you that, man. She's going to that box. He's not happy. That's the second penalty of the game. If he gets the third one, he has to walk home. That's the rules, I guess. That's what his mother told him. But Demaria is in the box for the second time this evening, and Lemus has to kill consecutive penalties here back to back. One finished, and one got right back on the board. So they're playing with four men for four minutes here. Non stop power play for Marlboro. They had four consecutive minutes of power play. And Jeffries has stood his ground, and they have not been, been able to put it away. They get that clean shot to get that go-ahead goal here in the second period. Howlett shot, shoots it all the way down deep, back behind the net, forcing Marber to go back and get it. Picked up, setting up, the, setting up their power play down deep in their end. 2.51 left to go in the second period here. 125 on your penalty clock. Nice little check on the near side, on the firewall. Nice play by by Matt Kendall used the hip, the old little hip check. Stopped the guy in his tracks. A good little, good little check by Matt Kendall. Here comes Marble on the attack, coming through the middle. Over the red, over the blue, going down deep. Far side, coming down close, right in there. Gonna try to do the wraparound. Does it, all the way back to the point. Shot, all the way through, just stopped by Russo in his right. Nice little pass. Theo Reynolds had it on the near side, Howlett there. Matt Kendall going back on defense. We got Theo back there. Five on four, Marlboro on the attack with the power play. Loose puck, loose puck, still loose, there's a shot. And Jeffries had to make the stop. <laughs> I can see Theo Reynolds and number 11, the Romans about the same height, and they're just gibbering back and forth here. Something that happened in front of that, which I saw, I'm not sure if anybody else seen it on the camera, but I saw the little uh, stick work by both kids out there, and they were just jarring each other as they were going off the ice. Kind of funny to see that. Back again, they have the power play here for another 25 seconds at the top of the circle. At the point, back to the point, in the middle, looking. On the far side, top of the circle, looking, coming in. Has a chance, look at it, back to the point. You know, these marble players are not really big, but they control the play, they skate with the puck, they get open, they look around, and they have control, they're not really, they're not panicking with the puck at all, they're looking, still has it, control in the back of the net, looking, can try wrap, looking, stopping, right through the middle, go <laughs> right through the middle, penalty is up, shot! Deflected by Brandon Melinson. Back in the zone. Kept in. Tossy there. Tossy with the puck. The three men all over him. Cannot control. Brandon Melanson here. Picked up in the corner. Hellenius. Hellenius. Nice little outlet pass. Cannot get it. They're all over him. Marlboro still kept the puck in. And Jeffries has to make a save. Back on it. Hellenius. Over to Tossy. Tossy dumps it out. Should be no icing. Hit the stick. 45 seconds left to go in the second period. Score still tied. 2-2 two two here. All the scoring in the first period, even though Marble had chance here in the second, had four minutes of power play and were not able to crack that defense or that goaltending by Jeffries in that second period. 29 left to go in the second. Back through middle. Here comes Marble on a 2 1 attack, going down deep. He's got Kendall. Kendall makes a nice little stick play in the back of the net. Pull the puck away from 15 seconds left to go here on the near side. Two minutes on the near side of Malik. Malik going down hard. Malik, he's got Hellenius. Hellenius in the corner. Three seconds. Two, one, zero. There is the horn, the buzzer for the end of the second period here. With the score tied two to two, same as it was at the end of the first period. And after Lumpster killed off two consecutive penalties that they got in the second period, and they're happy enough to get out of this second period without being scored upon, and the score remains two to two after two. And we're gonna be right with you back again, ladies and gentlemen, for the start of the third period. Don't go away, stay with us here. This is gonna be a finish, a finish you do not want to miss. So ladies and gentlemen, stay with us. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, everybody, for the start of the third and final period here at the Navin Arena in Marlboro, Massachusetts, between the Lumbers, the Blue Devils, and the Marlboro Panthers. Tied. The score is tied after two. Two to two as we begin the third period here. All the scoring was done in the first period. Second period was just a, a game of back and forth, back and forth, and Marlboro had a four-minute penalties. They had two, they had a four-minute power play in the middle of that second period and not, unable to crack the uh, the net to put Marlboro on top three to two. So we are starting the third period all tied up at two to two with 15 minutes left to go here in this period between Marlboro and Lemister. Hope you're enjoying the game back home. Uh, this is uh, Wednesday night. We are, we are January 3, and we are expecting a blizzard of some sort tomorrow, which is Thursday, January 4th. So hopefully that uh, they miscalculated on their weather. There's a backhand by Theo Reynolds just went wide, and hopefully they're uh, wrong on their uh, anticipation of snow tomorrow. I know I think they have already canceled some schools. Oh, tried to get a shot in the corner, could not do it. Uh, which Joe Russo was, it was, he had the gun loaded and ready to blast away, and it was taken away from him. He was going to blast that all the way up to the Route 2, and he couldn't get a hold of that puck. Here comes Marble on the attack again. This is a shot, glove saved by the goaltender. As I was saying, hopefully that he made a mistake on the uh, snow amount that we're going to get tomorrow, but just talking blizzard conditions, but hopefully that uh, they will not, uh, they are wrong. Sometimes you just want them to be wrong, right, Brad? You just want them to be wrong. But it looks like uh, we're going to get a, a, a good downfall tomorrow. But, hey, this is New England. This is what it's all about. It's the new year, and we need some new snow. I guess that's what it's all it is. I guess we're going to get some new snow. Back in the corner. Back behind the net. Forcing DeMario to go get it. Way down deep. Everybody, we are ice level here at the Navin Arena. The first time that we've been this low to the ice and all the rinks that we go to. So this is the very first for us. Hopefully the uh, audio and the uh, video comes out correctly for you people at home. I am standing up on in the stands watching the game through the screen that goes all the way around. There's a shot. He went top to the score. Jeffries tried to get out of the come and block out the angle. The guy went top shelf and Marlboro takes that 3-2 to two lead here at 13.42 of the third period. Puts him on top again for the third straight time this evening. And they score at 13.42. And they take a 3-2 lead here. So they open up the scoring quickly here. And put Lemster on their heels right away. So Lemster has to come back and counterattack and see if they can get anything started here. And come back and tie the game again. Usually this is the way it happens. I mean, nice little move by Theo Reynolds going down deep. Has control. Back in the corner. Marlboro on the attack, coming out. Popped in by Matt Candle, tried to keep it in. Howlett here, Howlett knocks around the net. Back in the night, Goten has to make the stop. Loose puck behind the net, picked up by Theo. He's trying to go in the middle. Loose puck and the net is off. It's mooring again. This time the referee seeing that. I mean, that, that net was so dislodged, it was like almost in the uh, Zamboni room. That's how far off that net was. So now the faceoff will be directly in front of us here. Lumpster in your dark blue, Marlboro in their home white. On the TV screen, Lumpster is going from right to left. Marlboro is going from left to right. Coming out, Marlboro knocks it back down deep, sending Joe Rooster to go get it. Joe Rooster to go get it. Back on the net, picked up, sidestep. Howlett trying to get out of the net, cannot do it. Out of his own end. Tries to knock it out. Still loose. Inside the zone. Get back in and help out. Get back in and help. Joey Russo there. Makes a pass all the way across the defenseman. Kobe Doran on the near side. Cannot get in control. Kobe Doran is trying to skate out. Has it. Trying to make a pass over to Howlett. Cannot reach Howlett. Back behind the net. Shot back in deep. Matt Kendall knocks it back down. Cannot reach the end of the net. Deflected high up in the screen for a faceoff. With 12.31 left to go. Marlboro open up the scoring here quickly in the third period. They give them a 3-2 lead here. And let's see if they can uh, 
continue their attack. And Lumberson has to try to get some more pucks to that net and get some people and bodies in front of that goaltender and, and don't let them see everything real well. There should be icing against Marlboro, and it is. As I was saying, Lumberson has got to get some people in front of that net and just stand your ground and stay there when we get some chance to take some shots. You can screen the goaltender, and there's a good opportunity that the puck will go in and it'll find its way into the back of that net. Melanson on the draw with Tuminus and Fowler. Melanson on the draw. Wins it. Back down deep. Marble gets control. Back behind the net. Coming out. Off the boards. And out of the zone it is. Wraps it back down deep. Here comes the defenseman for Marble. Makes a little move at center. Back down deep. Should be icing against Marble and it's not. Back down deep. Shot. Right across Greece, Jeffries right there, makes a play, back around the net, two minutes going after the puck. It's a shot from the point, did not make it all the way in the corner. Picked up by Melanson on the near wall. Coming down deep, Fowler skating out hard, going down hard, shot to the net, deflected, did not reach the net. Back behind the net, goaltender stops it, back behind the net. After the point, kept it in, backhand, Fowler there. Two minutes going high, nice stay by the goaltender, he blocked the angle very well, and he makes that stop right at the front porch. Face off with 11.38 left to go in the third. Score is 2-2 two to two if you just joined us here with the Marlboro, I mean 3-2 to two in favor of Marlboro. We are at the Naven Arena in Marlboro. Face off right directly in front of us here. Face off. Shot. Nice save. Shot by Joe Russo from the point. Goaltender made a nice save. We got... Jack Kendall down there, we got Malik down there, and we got Hellenius on, the, on that forward line. It's a shot! Oh, Jack Kendall tried to put everything he could into it, didn't make it. Malik fighting hard for it. Jack Kendall going to the corner. Good forechecking by this line here. This is their third line is doing this. Hellenius in the corner, Kendall in the corner. Malik takes the body also. They're stepping up and taking the body, and there comes nice little play by Jack Kendall. Stop that, back out of the zone. Picked up by Joe Russo. Russo going down deep. He's all alone. He's going by, he's gonna try to go through everybody. Stop, looks. He gets tripped up. It's going to be a penalty on Marlboro. Lumbus is going to go on the power play for their first time in a long time. And they're going to hit, try their special teams here with 10.58 left to go in the third period. They have a chance to tie it up here. He tripped Joey Russo on the far side. And it's going to be a power play for Lumbus with 10.58 left to go in the third period. We have Howlett, Doran. Fowler, back to Russo at the point. Russo, Kendall, Kendall has it over to Howlett. Howlett, they switch places here. Kendall coming in. Kendall stopped the backhand in the front, cannot get rid of it. And here comes, and it's out of the rink, out of the net, into the stands for a faceoff. They made good control of the point here. The, they had the puck at the point. If they're trying to get the puck down deep, you got to work the puck down deep and make the, the uh, Defenseman come and get you in the corner, open some some space in front of the goaltender and get some opportunities here. So they're trying to do the, what they're doing, but Marlboro was like aggressively on this power play and stopping from getting any opportunities. Kendall skating through the middle, over to Joe Russo. Russo has it, back to Kendall. Kendall it, over the how how it take one time there, back on the opposite side, off to Joe Russo at the point. He has the control. He's going to elect to shoot. He is going to shoot. He's going to take a shot. No, over to Matt Kendall. Matt Kendall over to Russo. Russo looking. He's shot. Deflected by the defenseman. He's just raced. All the way down deep. Marlboro played. Nice play by Joe Russo to take the putt away. Loose puck. Shot. Stopped by Jeffries inside of his own porch. With 10.09 left to go. With 1.11 on the power play. Joe Russo tried to rip that thing right through the body and the guy stayed right in front of him and it blocked off the body and Joe Russo had to get on his horse to try and stop that opportunity and he did. Lemus is still on the power play for another minute and 11 seconds here. Face off down deep inside their end. And here comes, here comes, going down deep. Two minutes stops. Two minutes right behind the net. All the way to Fowler. Fowler has it. Stops, looks, still has the puck. Gets checked off the puck. Fowler kept control of the puck. Back to the point. You got Tossi at the point. Tossi cannot hang on to the puck at the point. They had the puck inside. And here comes Fowler trying to get in the middle. Cannot. Loose puck right through the middle. A race to get the puck. Picked up by Melanson. Melanson. Back to Tuminus. Tuminus right in front of us here. Tuminus trying to make a move. 
Demario back to the point to toss. He's not afraid to shoot. Back to Demario with it right in front of us here. Back over to two minutes. Two minutes over to Tossi. Cannot two minutes shot did not reach the net. Back in the corner, Mob was doing a great job of taking the the shooting lanes away from Lumister. They're trying to get that shot to the net, but they're taking the shooting lanes away from them, and they're ha and for they're forcing Lumister to make a pass to where they don't want to make a pass, and it's it's really killing their power play here. Marble was doing a good job killing the penalty. Brandon Melanson at the top of the point, skating in with it, has the puck. Back over the point. Tosti, shot, wrist shot. Blocker saved by the goaltender. Loose puck inside. And Doran right on the doorstep, could not put it away. Two minutes. Nice little move in front. 8.46 left to go. Power play has finished for Lemister. Even strength here. On the faceoff, we got. Theo Reynolds with Howlett and Doran as the top forward line right now. Back to the point. Matt Kendall over to Joe Russo. Russo back in the corner, right behind the net. Who's puck? Howlett going hard for it. Start back behind the net. And Theo Reynolds get nudged off the puck. Back in the corner. Just trying to get out of his zone. Here comes Marlboro again. Stop. Nice little play by Matt Kendall. Kept it, tried to keep it in. Joe Russo has it. Nice little pass. Cannot reach Matt Kendall on the near boards. Right, here comes here comes Marble. Three on one break. One man back. And he went to shot. He went to top corner. He couldn't get it. Picked up on the near side by Doran. Doran over to Theo. Theo over to Howler. Howler coming down deep. Gets nudged off the puck. Hit in the corner. Still looking for an open man. Here comes back to the point. Matt Kendall keeps it in. In the corner. Back behind. Doran takes a shot. Theo did help him out. Shield gets knocked. There's going to be a penalty on Marlboro from him from behind. And, Ma and Lumps is going to go on another power play here. Theo just skate away from that player. Get away from him. You got a power play. Let's keep the power play. 3-2 to two in favor of the Panthers of Marlboro. But Lumps is going on a power play here at 7.47 left to go in the third period here. Face off down deep in a Marlboro zone. They have another opportunity here. To put, to get a, to try and get a goal here. Going to move the puck around quickly and get some more shots on net. And so get somebody in front of that goaltender. Out of the, I hit the screen. It should be out of the, it should be out. Number five ripped it out of the zone and hit the screen. And that's an automatic uh, face off down deep. Referee just sent number five off the rink. I'm not sure why. I have no idea. But anyways, got him out of the rake. Face off, right in front of us here, down deep. Marble trying to get rid of it, the puck. Back to the point, Matt Kendall with it. Matt Kendall skates to the middle, has it. Over to Joe Russo. Russo back to Kendall. Kendall, he likes to shoot. Oh, nice pass saved by the goaltender. Somebody's got to screen that goaltender. Somebody's got to get right in front of him there. Stay right in front of that goaltender. Back over to Howl. Howl, shot. Blocker save. Loose puck. Theo right there with it. Cannot get it. Kobe on the near side, picked up by Theo. Theo back to Kendall. Kendall at the point. He's got Howlett. He's got Russo. Kendall with the puck. Kendall has it. Still has it. Looks. Back over to Howlett. Howlett stops. Look. Back to Kendall. Shot. Nice. Saved by the goaltender. Somebody's got to get in front of that goaltender. He can't see that puck. Somebody's got to get right in front of him. Like block his total view of the puck. He saw that puck coming from Kendall, and he just waited for the puck and hit him directly. Somebody's got to stop in front of him and get in there and stay with him. And can I get out? They still have a one-minute power play here on this side. Shot on the near side. Saved by the goaltender. He's been playing well here in the power play here for Lumbster. He's been stopping a lot of good shots here. Lumbster's getting the puck to the net, which they should. On a power play, take the shots, no matter where they are. And somebody get in front of the goaltenders, you can't see it. And face off, won by Marlboro, back in the corner. Matt Kendall, back down deep. Two minutes. And Brandon Melanson rips the puck, goes up over the night. Kept in by Doran. Kept in by Joey Russo. Joey Russo has it, skating all the way in. Stop, pops, looks. 
Has it, top of the circle, looking. Cross all the way to Matt Kendall. Back in the corner. Matt Kendall there, Matt Kendall looking. Shot by Brandon Molinson, almost went through the pad, the wickets. Brandon Molinson took a quick wrist shot at the top of the circle. The goal attendant came out, blocked the angle, made a nice save. Still have 30 seconds left to go in the power play here. Lemson doing a fine job on this power play, getting a few shots here. But the goaltender is standing on his head right now, making some nice saves. Face off, Theo Reynolds right in front of us. He wins the face off, back to the point. Picked up by DeMario. DeMario, Howlett. Over to Tossy. Tossy looks. Right into the player's gut. And he just ripped it down deep. And that should do it for the power play for Lemus. With 10 seconds left to go. They have one time to wrap things up. They bring up, come all the way down here. Theo Reynolds winding up with the puck. Going down hard. Coming on the near side. He cuts through the middle. Still has the puck. Going through the middle. Still going. He's going from end to end. Kept in. Doran has it. Doran still has it. Walked in front of his own player. <laughs> Back around the corner. Go tender makes the stop behind his net. 540 left to go here. Three to two. Marlboro in front. Stopped in. Nice save by the goaltender. Back in the corner. Howlett there. Still has it. Doran there. Back to the point. Kept in by DeMario. Loose puck. It's a it's a everybody's caught in the middle here of the rig. Coming down deep. Going wide. It's been all Lemus this third period here. They had a couple penalties. I mean, a couple power plays here. It's been all Lemus and now the puck's down deep in the end. And hopefully that they can muster an attack here and come back up on this end here and get a couple of shots on that again. The goaltender has been making really good plays. And making some good stops here. Back in the corner. Forcing DeMario to go get it. DeMario loses it behind the net. Loses it. Back around. Malik on the far side. Malik has it, trying to get out of the zone again. He's got Doran with him. He's got Theo Reynolds stick handling going out. He's got three men on him. He's right back to the point, cannot get it there. Here comes Marble back on attack. No matter, no matter when he gets down there, Theo gets all bottled up. And they went all over him. They had like three guys on Theo Reynolds. Coming down deep, off the glass, out of the zone. Picked up by Joey Roos in his own end, trying to go deep. Loose puck. On the near wall, far wall, picked up by Malik. Malik has it. Malik stops, looks. Come across, still has it. Trying to make a pass, loses it inside of his own end. Got to take the body, down deep, got to take the body. Shot. Cannot let the guy skate with the puck inside your own end without being touched. You've got to take the body and hit the body if he has the puck on the stick. Do not let him just skate around and just waltz in there and look at they're just waltzing on them. Here's another shot. Cannot look at loose puck inside. Still loose. And there's the goal. They fought for the goal and they got the goal at 3.33 of this third period. They put the Panthers up by two here. At 3.33, they killed a couple of penalties and they come back down deep and they score a couple goals here. And now they're ahead 4-2 to with 3.33 left to go in the third period. Well, Lumos was all over them. Gave them the chance that they could get chances. They had some shots. Goaltender made some staves. And that's what happens in a ball game here. Turn of events happened so quickly here. Marble came back and put the go-ahead goal, making it get their fourth goal of the game here. And hopefully, Lemons are gonna. They need a goal here real quick to get right back into this ball game. Out through the middle, Jerry Moyet is out there, and we have. Uh, Zach Melanson, number 21, is out there. Jerry, Mil Jerry, Jeremy Millett, Zach Millett, and Jake Brindle. That's the new line. We got Brindle, Millett, and Mayette. Mayette, Mayette, and Brindle. That was a short. That was a short 40-second shift for them. They're going out. They did a good job back there. A new line. 
250 left to go in the third period. He has 250 left to go. Lemus is down by two. Anything is possible here. Anything is possible. He gets a quick goal here. They're going to pull the goaltender. Probably get a goal. Hopefully they can get one. Back down deep. Joey Russo back over to Matt Kennel. Matt Kennel through the middle. Trying to hit Theo Reynolds. Cannot. Here come Kobe Doran going down hard. Right on the net. Forced the goaltender to make the stop. And I'll bet you that they're going to have a timeout right here. With 2.29 left to go here. In the third. Lumps is down by two goals. Marlboro's changing. Lumps is staying with Reynolds line. With Doran. And Howlett. With Kendall and Russo on defense. Back in the corner. Shot. Cannot get through. You know, the, the, uh, the plays for Marlboro have stopped a lot of offensive shots by the Blue Devils this evening. They got in front of all the shots. And they... Paying the price for it, but they got in front of a lot of the shots, quality shots that Lemons was going to have, and they stepped in, in front of the shots to stop it. Doran going shot. He went far side. He could not get past the goal. Go to the minute. Nice stop on Doran. Back across. And there's a breakaway. Going down deep. Going all alone. Going all alone. Stop. Nice little play by Jeffries. Pull the puck. He put the pad out. He stopped that breakaway from the Marlboro guy. He would have iced his game for sure. And here comes Joey Russo going down. He's all alone. Joey Russo going. And he can't put it away and lose the puck. He's going to call it a goal. He's going to call it a goal. The net was off his more, but they're going to call it a goal before the net dislodged. Lumps are going to get credit for that goal. The referee had a good view of that puck crossing the goal line before the net was dislodged. He's going to count the goal at 138 of the third period. So Lumps are coming back. Joey Russo had a breakaway. He got stuffed by the goaltender. It was right in the crease, right on the front porch. And I'm not sure who's the one that put it away. It was either Howlett or... I'm not sure, but it was right there. And the puck went into the net. And the goat, and the referee was on the far side. So he saw it. And there's going to be a fate, a timeout here for Lumister with 1.38 left to go. Look for the uh, goaltender being pulled out of the out of the game here. So if Lumister gets the puck down deep inside the Marlboro zone, they will definitely pull Jeffries and get that sixth attacker on the ice and try to tie things up here. But see, anything can happen here with less than uh, three minutes to go. Lumpster was down by two. Now it's a minute and 38 seconds left to go and only down by one. So anything can happen. You get a couple shots to the net, crash the net. One of those cheap goals that you get in a game like that, it counts. It puts you on a board. And now it's going to be an all-out attack by Lumpster here for the final one minute and 38 seconds here. They're going to give all, everything they got. Even the kitchen sink is going to be thrown out on the ice. Let's see what happens here. Timeout has expired. Lumps is coming back here. Faceoff is going to be at center ice because the goal was just scored. Look for Jeffries to be being pulled here as soon as they Lumps gets the puck down deep inside the ran and hopefully they can get the puck towards the net so the goaltender has to make a, a save. And, a, and here, shot. Over the glove hand of the goaltender. Back in the corner. Go Jeffrey still on the net. Puck down deep. Trying to get out. Cannot. Kept in by DeMario on the near side. DeMario fights for the puck. And out of the zone it goes. Fowler going back. 1-18 left to go. Fowler with the puck. Still has it. Pass all the way to the opposite side. Cannot connect. It should be icing against Lemster. And it is. Woo. one ten left to go. You do not want to get an icing here. And give Marble the chance to stay inside your own zone here with a, with just over a minute left to go in the game. Figuring out what they're gonna do down here on the face-off. Win the face-off, try to get it down deep. Gotta get a shot to the net. And the goaltender has to make a save and tie it up. If he can tie it up, then Lemus can pull the goaltender and get him out of the net. Going down deep is going to be icing against Lemus one more time. With 101. 61 seconds left to go in the game. And Jeffries was headed to the bench for the extra skater, but it was offside. It was icing. Face off down deep. A minute to go. Oh, bad pass out in the zone. Could not get across. Here comes Lemster on the attack, trying to get out of the zone. Here he comes. Down deep. Coming down deep. He gets 
nudged off the, Holick has nudged off the puck inside the corner. Loose puck, goaltender's out of the net. They got a two man attack here for Marlboro. He's got all net to shoot at. Shot, goal! He just scores, put the game on ice right then and then. He took a shot from the far side and he went right to the middle of the net and Marlboro takes that. Five to three lead, got the insurance goal that they needed to ice this game for the Panthers. They come home with a victory with only 36, 36 seconds left to go here. They're gonna need a uh, an impossible comeback here, but anything is possible. 36 seconds left to go here. Face off at center. <coughs> Down deep. Back in the corner. Lumster has it. Bringing all the way out. Jack Kendall here. Jack Kendall going down deep. Gets tied up at center right. Here comes Marlboro on the attack again. Going down hard. Cut through the middle. Stopped. Jack Kendall with the puck. Coming over the blue line. Going over the, down deep. Malik is. Malik. Takes to fake it. Tried to get by him. Could not do it. Back at the point. Kept in by Andrzejewski. Kept it in. Six, five, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That will be game here at the Marlboro Navin Arena. I mean, Marlboro skates away with a five to three victory here in front of all their screaming fans here. Hard fought five to three game here. Four to two late in the third period. Lumberton came back, made it four to three, put the uh, Marlboro on this edge, but they scored an open net goal to give them that five to three victory, and that's how it stands. So, ladies and gentlemen, Lemister falls to one, four, and two. And Marlboro is two, four, and one. Big win for Marlboro here and a tough loss for Lemister here on the road against the Marlboro Panthers. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it for us here at the uh, Marlboro Arena. Thanks for joining us. Hope you all had a great time. It was a great game to watch. Good physical hockey from both sides. Good skating from both sides. Good goaltender. And the goaltender from Marlboro had faced a lot of shots in third period on the power play. That would have been that would have been the turning point for Lemister if they could have got a couple goals there on that power play. But to no avail, they were not able to do that. So Marlboro skates away with a 5-3 to three victory. Hope you all had a great time watching the game. We shall be back with you people again on, on January 15th. We have a home game against St. Bernard's at the Wallace Civic Center. We shall be there. Hopefully you guys had a great time. See you then. Happy, happy new year. And enjoy the storm that's coming in tomorrow, Thursday. Well, welcome back, everybody, for a post-game interview here between... Uh, we're at the end of the game here between Lemister and Marlboro. The final score was 5-3 to three in favor of the Marlboro, Marlboro Panthers. With me this evening, ladies and gentlemen, is the assistant coach, Mike uh, Colcord. Uh, Mike... Watching the game this evening, from my point of view, from my vantage point, is that you know I saw good opportunities on both ends of the rink. Lemster has some opportunities, Marlboro has some opportunities, and they and Marlboro apparently put the game away with that open net goal late in the third period. But you know, from from watching the game, I mean, watching the game from from where I was, it seemed that uh, Lemster was hesitant to take shots when they should have taken shots. What do you what do you think about? What's your take on this? I think in any time you don't shoot the puck, you're going to have a hard time scoring. Um, we're playing on a smaller rink, which we're not used to, so some of the uh, shots were a little more contested. The rink's tighter, but we definitely didn't want to shoot the puck as much as we probably should have tonight and held on to it just a bit too long. You know, looking at the, in the second period where, you know, all the scoring was done in the first period, we came out of the first period, this tie score, tied 2-2, two to two, and I said, well, this really looks good here for Lemons, so if they can come on the road, beat Marlboro in their home rink, it would be a great, great, uh, great achievement. Going into the second period, no, no, score, no goals were scored, but Lemons had a double penalty against them, back-to-back -back penalty, and they came across, and Marlboro didn't get anything on it. I mean, is that something you guys have been working closely in practice with, with penalty killing, which has been going on all year long? Well, if you don't have good special teams, you're not going to win, and penalty kill is something we've really been focusing on a lot lately. Um, we have been in the box quite a bit, and the last couple of games our penalty kill hasn't been great, but we've been working really hard on that in practice, and it started to show a little bit tonight how much that work's paying off. You know, I, I, I saw the, the play, the actions going down. Now we start the third period in the uh, you know, Lemster had a couple opportunities where, you know, they got close to the net and they just couldn't put that 
the loose puck in the air. And I made a co couple comments during the contest that, you know, uh, while we have the puck inside the zone, there was nobody actually trying to make a screen for the goaltender. I mean, is that something that we can work on? We have been working on that. Uh, you have to score dirty goals to win, especially in high school hockey. And when we're not getting to the net and we're not screening, we're not going to get those goals. Um, we've been working on trying to get the get screens, and a few times we got really close to the net, but our screening needs to be better, and we need to be able to put those rebounds in. We had too many chances left on the table because of that. You know, the, and Lemus, I mean, and the fact is that you know Marlboro had chances inside their own. When they had the puck inside their own end, they were like breaking out out of the zone. I mean, that they they were fast. Right? They all kids were not really that big. They had fast. They were getting out of the zone quickly, and I mean, it really put your defense on the. They, they could not hang inside the blown inside their own, you know, in the offensive zone that long because Marvel was coming out quickly. You know, in retrospect, when you look at something like that, where you're saying to yourself, you know, how are they able to do that? You know, and how do you counterattack something like that? Uh, we got to work on our forecheck a little bit. We were, we were releasing guys too much, and as per usual, we're having trouble controlling our gaps, especially inside the neutral zone. A couple times we got way too far backed up into our own end, and that let, allows them to break the puck out easy. Um, Marlboro did a really good job stretching the rink, forcing us back and making it easy for themselves to break the puck out. You know, when I saw some of the players carrying the puck through the neutral zone and, and also inside the offensive zone, that they were never left alone. I mean, Marlboro was, I saw a couple times where, where Theo Reynolds was down in the corner and he had like three guys all over him. I mean, they were like really bottling, bottling up you guys well inside the defensive zone and really limiting your chances to get to the net. And I also saw is that, you know, they really, uh, they didn't force the issue of, of the puck inside the zone and they made, they blocked a lot of shots. Yeah, they, uh, they got right in front of the shots. They did a very good job in D-zone coverage. Um, a few of the goals we scored, we ended up cycling really well and we found the open man, but that was something we got away from later in the game and Marlboro made the adjustment to really clog those lanes and that prevented us from getting any more chances. Well, well, everybody, we just heard it here from uh, Coach Colcord. I mean, Lumpster gave a fine effort this evening. I mean, they came out on the losing end 5-3 to three and opened that goal in the third period. But, you know, things look good for some part of the games. And then there's a lot of work to be done. We know that. And some of the lines have changed here and there. So, I mean, looking forward to the future. Your next game is going to be next Saturday, I believe, something like that. And, you know, I'm sure, you know, you have a whole week. to, And it's, it's good to have that much amount of time to be able to Get yourself ready for the upcoming games. Absolutely. Having that much time off means we can really focus on some of the areas that we struggled with tonight. Always trying to find the right line combination, find who can play with who and who's hot at the right time is always a big deal. So having that extra practice time will really help. Well, thanks for your time, Mike. I really appreciate it for taking the time out here after the game here. Ladies and gentlemen, again, the score was 5-3 to three here in Marlboro against the Marlboro Panthers. It's great to have you all, all with us. Thanks for joining us again. Again, for myself, Ray Rich, and Mike Colcord, my camera guy, Brad Badai. Thanks for all for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you again. Happy New Year. You want to say Happy New Year to anybody, Mike? Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you for, for joining us. Till the next time, thank you again. Good night, everybody.